Hi guys, uh, my name's Paul. I uh, got myself one of those uh, little Avata drones about two weeks ago. Now, I'm lying about 10 days ago in fact. I've had about eight or nine flights with it so far. I've just filmed I think about the ninth flight with it, ninth and tenth maybe. Uh, ND16 filter, uh, so we're gonna see how that works out. Um, I've tried it with no filter before, but it's a bit grainy sometimes, the picture ain't so good, you don't get a lot of motion blur. I'm hoping with this ND16 filter it gives us a nice, nice bit of motion blur. And uh, yeah, makes it look a bit more realistic to the eye. We'll see what happens. What I really love about this Avata is the fact that you don't have the same sort of flight anxiety that you have with an RC plane for instance. You know, when you, uh, you have to spend half an hour setting an RC plane up, getting your LiPo batteries sorted, because there's no intelligent batteries for those things, and you know, one, one, flip of the, one flip of the sticks and one mistake, and your pride and joy is going home in a bin bag. Okay, yeah, so uh, that seemed to go pretty well. I had the camera settings on manual this time. Uh, shutter speed was 120, 60 frames per second, obviously doubling it. And I had the colour on normal. I didn't try DCing like this time, but I'm going to try DCing like at some point, see what happens. Uh, but uh, I'm not quite that skilled yet on the uh, editing software, so I'm going to leave the colour for the automatic now. Hopefully, the ND16 filter gave me a nice bit of motion blur. And uh, yeah, hopefully it's all going to come out nice. We'll get there. See what it turns out like now in editing.
was all shot with the uh, motion controller as well. That that was. Uh, I have got a controller two on order, but they're on back order at the moment. And stocks supposedly coming in on the seventh of March, which is about a week away. So hopefully, and then I can get on the simulator and have a go with manual mode. That'll be fun. Thank you.